an area of low pressure at the surface right here, we call that lee side cyclogenesis. In other words, a cyclone has generated, essentially. That's not uncommon. This happens. And that is going to be our weather maker as we move through the end of the week. But this one is going to actually move due eastward as opposed to the last one, which, as you saw, came across northern Ohio. All right, if you're going out right now, again, the rain is gone, and we are in the mid-40s to around 50 degrees here in the city, so it's a chilly afternoon. Our average high right now is 58, so we're actually below average for a while after spending the first three weeks of the month above average. You can see wind gusts in the airports that are reporting gusts right now are over 20 miles per hour, so it's a brisk one out there. You definitely notice the chill when you head out the door. So on the conventional satellite here, you can see how Lake Huron is just adding to the moisture and keeping the clouds over the eastern part of the area up into the thumb. But then you get west of that lake and that Saginaw Bay influence, and you see parts of our area have had blue sky most of the day today, and parts of the area have been just downright grungy with all the cloud cover. And then here again is our nor'easter off the east coast. So let's put it all in motion here with the computer model. So basically, we're going to have clouds kind of backing up from the east, so we're going to become cloudy overnight. And how quickly we cloud over will dictate how low the temperature goes. But basically, mostly cloudy but dry for our Wednesday. Thursday, the same story. Mostly cloudy but dry. It's Thursday night that we start to see. Now, this is 5 p.m., so we're fine for the evening rush hour. But Thursday night, we have these periods of rain coming in. But again, as I just explained, this low is going across the Ohio River. Even south of that, across Kentucky, we're farther removed from the moisture. So it looks like rainfall amounts south of M59, we're talking about a half inch to an inch. North of M59, a third of an inch to a half an inch. That's a lot less than what we just got. So overnight, 40 for an average low. To the east where it's cloudier, it'll be mid 40s. To the west where we keep the clear skies longer, it's going to be mid 30s with patchy frost possible. 58 the high tomorrow, but mostly cloudy and less wind. And notice upper 50s to near 60 through the weekend.